Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jerry Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.5, probably the last big update to iOS 17 before we move on to iOS 18 beta 1. Now with iOS 17.5, by just taking a first look at it, you will see that there are not a lot of new features and changes, but actually digging deeper into this update, you will find quite a lot of new features. So in this video, we're taking a look at the 20 new features and changes that iOS 17.5 will bring to your iPhone. First of all, on the home screen, if you use the podcast widget, now it will actually take the color of the album art of that podcast you're listening to. So you can see there's a different color and there's a different color on the widget, but as soon as I start playing the podcast, you can see the color will change and it takes the color of that podcast. There are a lot of changes that Apple has made to the news app with iOS 17.5. Now, one of them will be right here if you go under your following right here, you will find, of course, something called saved stories. So you will have saved stories right here. And now you will have that button to clear the saved stories. Now, previously you could do this, but it would still let the titles of the stories that you will would save right here, it wouldn't clean them. So now you can clean all of them with that button. Now the news app, if you're using News Plus, now also offers a new offline mode. So basically giving you the ability to read at articles even though your device might not be online. And Quartiles is a new puzzle game that Apple has added to the news app. Now of course all of the all of these will be accessible only for news plus user so if you have a subscription for news plus you can go to your games right there and at the puzzles you will now find a new quartiles puzzle which you can play on your news app and not just a new game the news app on iowa 17.5 now also gets an integration with game center so all the puzzle games that you play on the news app you will be able to see the leadboards and all that stuff now directly from the news app of course with this new integration that the news app got for game center the news app also has gotten some new settings and has a lot of new settings when it comes to automatic downloads. So by going to your settings under news, you will find automatic downloads here and you will have the options to actually choose what you want to automatically download. So you will have your recent stories, the save stories, magazines, puzzles, and audio stories as well. And for each of them, you will actually have an individual knob right there, which allows to enable or disable downloads for that certain section of the news app. And just right underneath this, you will also find a new option called optimize storage. So by enabling it, what you're doing is that it will download smaller versions of the images that are within storage. That way it will preserve more storage on your iPhone so it doesn't take a lot of space when it downloads like different articles by downloading them of course on their full size images. Most of the times those will be quite big in size taking a lot of space on your iPhone. So if you're using automatic downloads for a lot of like sections on the news app, I would also suggest that you use optimized storage. Here's a change on the TV app as well. Now on the TV app, when you're looking at an episode, you're watching in an episode, if you tap the share button, you will be able to now actually share the show as well. So not just share the episode, but you will also be able to share the show directly from this episode. There is a new reading goal counter on the books app. So if you use the books app and you read books on your iPhone or iPad, you will now have the counter right there at the top right corner. Another change on the books app, if you have a book that you have finished, if you tap the three dots, you know that you can edit the finished date. And now you have a totally new look here for edit finished date, so the date picker for finishing a book has totally been changed. And when you have a few different books that you have finished reading, but one of them maybe doesn't have a set finish date when you have finished reading that book, now it will be under a new section. So when you go to your finished, you will see right here, a section that says date not set. So even though the book 
might have been finished, you still haven't set the date, and you will find all of those now on a new section. Also on the Books app, you will have top picks right here under the home section and you have now here like an updated menu with more options and you have improved suggestions right there so an updated here top picks look for the books as well and that's something very very useful that apple has added recently to facetime with 17.5 and this has been here since beta 1 even though i believe this might still be in the code and probably will be active once it's released to the public is the ability to now block a complete group so if you're on a group call you don't have to block each person one by one you will have the option to actually block everyone on that group Moving into the settings app, when you go to privacy and security, you have a new section for passkey access for web browsers. And now it does have a new icon. Previously, it didn't have an icon at all. With 17.5, you will find here a new icon. Moving on again here under settings, under accessibility, when you go to switch control and you go to switches, you will have now a button to enable ignore invalid switch setup. So hide alerts when the switch configuration setup is invalid. So if you use this feature on your iPhone, you can now enable this new option. Now this right here might be one of the best new features coming to iOS 17.5. So the ability to actually your iPhone alert you when like an item is tracking you even though it's not an Apple product. You know that with Apple products that's not a problem whether that be an AirTag or maybe an AirPod you have here the option to actually enable that like protection tracking notifications but now on you will be able to get notifications even for devices that are not actually from Apple iOS 17.5 will also enhance the privacy for apps that are requesting data for your altitude. So that's a new improvement that Apple has done on the security side of iOS 17.5. And finally, users will be able to have apps installed directly from a dev's website, even though in the US and anywhere else in the world, you won't be able to do that. This is a feature that Apple has brought only to EU users. Of course, they had to do it due to the new laws on the EU, but that feature is not coming anywhere else. Hopefully in the future it will. But if a dev just like puts their app on the website, you will be able to now install the app directly from the website. And for the last two, we're talking about the iPad. You know, on your iPhone, when you go to the battery section and you go to battery health right here, you will have your cycle count, maximum capacity, and all that stuff. Now, this feature is also coming to the iPad with iOS 17.5, even though I believe that Apple won't put this feature on all their iPads, most likely this will be a new generation of iPad that will have exclusivity to this new feature, just like it does for the iPhone 15 models. And last but not least, with 17.5, also Apple is bringing support for Apple Pencil 3. That of course has been found on the co code of iOS 17.5 and it should come here of course once the new devices the new pencil is released it will be ready to support with ios 17.5 so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to get informed and stay up to date with everything new regarding ios 17.5 make sure to subscribe of course hit the like if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one